bringing some color and happiness into this house. And we're gonna, was only, she only played 15 minutes. She was 50 yards away from me and I could see her and I could hear her. But 10 years later, Colleen is still wondering where Morgan is. Somebody thought they could come to this town and that they could take my child. She turned a parent's worst nightmare into hope for others. We as parents, we as a community, we as a state have the right to stand up and say we will make a difference for our children. She's helped reunite over a hundred children with their families and that is just amazing. And I swear I'm gonna find you if it's the last thing that I do. The design team is going to extremes. Good, good. To build the home of her dreams and make her job just a little bit easier. Her goal is every day to wake up and find a missing child. Hopefully one day it'll be Morgan. There's more Extreme Makeover Home Edition. Let's bring the family home! Right now. is really coming together well. I'm on the front porch. Look how huge it is. It's so expansive. I mean, it just runs the entire length of the front of the house. For Karen's room, I need a lot of daffodils. And uh, since I can't get them around here, I have these guys ship them for us. Look at that. Boxes and boxes and full of daffodils. This is fantastic. I love how open it is in here. Now, by the end of the day, we're hoping to get paint on all these walls. At least a first coat. It's going to be a big day of bringing some color and happiness into this house. Everybody with a tie on is a painter? Yes, sir. Uh, what do we got over here? I'm not really sure what that is. <laughs> it's a $2 tie, my yeah, friend. exactly. <laughs> here. Really. I mean, here's a few more bucks. Get yourself something that uh, won't make Michael cry, all right? Oh. Uh, it's a happy room. Taryn loves to go in the fields when they bloom and pick the daffodils. And when one page is done with this room, there's going to be all kinds of daffodils going on. Taking daffodils and just um, cutting them right at the top of their stems and gluing them on. And they'll actually be working lamps. When Morgan comes home and if Morgan comes home, she will have her room right here. We realize that if we're going to do this house, we have to do our best to make a room for Morgan. This was actually attic space. None of this was really supposed to be here. It wasn't in the original plan. The builder was awesome. We said, listen, we have to have this, no matter what. Michael took on that project and said that he's going to call the room Hope. The bed will be right here. Take advantage of this amazing view. And hopefully, one day, there'll be a 16-year-old girl living right here in this room. One of the many symbolic gestures that parents of missing children uh, put in their home or on their home, in this case, is a porch light. One of the team members from the Home Builders Association is actually a coppersmith. So Preston worked with him to get the most beautiful front porch light you've ever seen. This will be the center. And then we'll have Some the top. Kind of a top. Oh, cool. So you're almost there. I'm getting close. We want her to have a symbolic light to say, this light is always on for my child to come home. Good work, Daniel. I know your mom's really proud of you, too. Thanks. Very good. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow morning. Polly! Come on, get in the truck. I want to show you something. You got to help me out for a minute. We're going big. I was working in the art truck, and Ty stopped by and said, uh, Yo, Polly, come on, come with me. I got something uh, I may need a hand with. How you guys doing? Awesome. So did you guys, uh, did you get the photos, sure did. did you? Fantastic, man. I appreciate you guys being here. This is going to make a huge difference. What are we doing on the interstate? Well, here's the deal. It's all about getting the message out. Ty had planned out a big billboard that uh, had Morgan's picture both at six years old and what she would look like at 16 years old. I figure we put a picture of Morgan up there. This way, it gets a lot of exposure. It's right, heading right, right toward right. Alma, so you never know what could happen. Good idea. Anybody going in that town is going to see this billboard. And because of that aids in hand photograph, you never know. Maybe someone's seen her. Paul, do me a favor. Go with these guys, get in the sky lift. I'm going to actually send a video to the family, all right? You guys make sure that it's seamless. It looks perfect, all right? Gotcha. OK, I'll get my camera. I want 
wanted to make sure I got a, a video of it so I could send it to Colleen. But the one thing she said to me is get Morgan's story out there, let people know. And I think this is a really big way to do that. Hello, Colleen and family. I hope you guys are having a great time on vacation. Now, the one thing you said you wanted me to do is to tell Morgan's story. And well, I took that to heart. And well, we're gonna tell her story in a big way. As you can see behind me, right there, is a billboard. Such a billboard. Look. Look. Did a photo of Morgan when she was six and what she would look like now at 16. And what we're going to do is put it up there on that gigantic billboard so everybody driving toward Alma is going to be able to see her and hopefully remember something about that night and give us any information. So here we go. Paul, you ready? Ready. Then hit it. Go, guys, go. It's a big billboard and hopefully it's going to be a big deal and hopefully we're going to get a big lead. So I hope you guys are having a great time on vacation, you know that we're thinking about you and hopefully you're pretty excited about that. I know I am. Colleen was so impressed with what we did with the billboard she immediately called Ty to thank him. The billboard, it is so awesome. Well, I'm glad you like it. I hope that a lot of people are going to see it, and who knows what could happen, you know? 80,000 cars a day um, cross that crossroads there, and now I'm on the interstates. Listen, enjoy your vacation. Know that everybody here is thinking about you guys, and we cannot wait to see you when you get back, okay? Okay, bye, Ty. Bye, Colleen. I hope that the person who knows the truth about what happened to Morgan sees that sign every day, and that from seeing that, they find the courage to come forward. I made a phone call to a guy named John Walsh, who's with the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. Hey, John. Hey, man, it's me, Ty. Uh, you got those pictures? Great. If there's anybody who knows about losing a child as well, it would be John. Hey, Ty, how are you? I'm good, man. Thanks for being here. I'm honored to be here. Glad to be here. He lost his son 24 years ago. Our son Adam, our only child at the time, was six and a half years old when he was kidnapped from a mall in Hollywood, Florida. Someone was abducted and murdered, and he made it his life's passion as well to make sure that didn't happen to anyone else's child. The Justice Department says about 58,000 kids are kidnapped every year, and one in six kids are recovered just by the simple showing of the pictures. He brought with him several photos of other kids that are missing and told me their stories. This is Monica Carrasco, went missing in October 2003. She would be 18 years old in this age enhanced photo. Tika Lewis, now eight years old, missing since January 23rd, 1999. Showing photos of some of these kids, including Morgan, and several million people are going to see this. Jacob Wetterling has been missing for 17 years. He was kidnapped in 1989, age progressed photo. Natasha Shane. 26 years old, missing since 1985. This is Brianna Maitland, now 18 years old, missing since March 2004. Acacia Bishop, missing since May 25th, 2003. Sabrina Eisenberg, missing since November 1997. Because of Colleen and Morgan's story, we have a chance here to really let a lot of people know about missing children and the fact that some of them can come home. This is Catherine Lugo. She would be 16 years old in this age progressed photo. This is Joanna Rogers, now with an age progressed photo, 17 years old. This is the best thing that we can do, regardless of the home or whatever. It's this ship of hope's exposure to millions of people that pay attention to what we do. Coming up. Polly, take five for a second. I want to show you something really cool. Five minute break. Ty had a pretty special guest for us. Guys, Kathy Matea. It was just the most touching and wonderful moment because every word in that song was perfect for the job that we were doing this week. That's next on Extreme Makeover Home Edition. Starting with Love and Spend here, uh, just ripping all our pieces, getting all our lumber cut, and then we'll go ahead and put it all together. We got Logan a queen-size bed. We're going to build that platform that we usually build. 
but then we're gonna go ahead and inset all these amps underneath it. Amplifiers. So we got our amplifiers in, we'll go ahead and we can take these apart, we'll use these for the bed. You see, all the guts have been taken out of them. They're not real working amplifiers, but you look from here and it, it looks like rock and roll. So uh, that's what we're working on right now. Pretty simple stuff and uh, we'll have a bed for them. How's the bed coming? Hey guys, five minute break. Hey, you guys up there, take five. I want you to see something outside, all right? I want everybody to stop what you're doing. Take a five minute break. Follow me outside, okay? Right, something right, really right. cool is about to happen. Polly, take five for a second. I want to show you something really cool. For a little motivation and to inspire all of us and remind ourselves why we're here, Ty gathered everyone up and had a little surprise guest for us. So. I want everybody to take five minutes uh, just, just to take a break for a second because, well, this is pretty, really, really cool. Guys, Kathy Matea. Ty gave her a call and said, hey, can you come down and perform for us and for the family and for the neighborhood? We sold a CD to benefit the Center for uh, Missing and Exploited Children. And when they called us to come, we all just loaded on the bus just to get to be here with all y'all. So uh, thanks for having us. And thank you for all your hard work back there. <laughs> It's just great that there's people out there that are huge, you know, country singer rock stars, and they'll take the time to write a song about something as important as missing children. Without you, I'm as cold inside as the dark side of the moon. When you're not there, my only prayer is that you're home and soon. Cause every time the phone rings, I think the and best things I'd give all I have to have you here with me It was just the most touching and wonderful moment because every word in that song meant something and every word in that song was perfect for the job that we were doing this week Baby it's so quiet now I can hear the darkness fall Colleen's mom was standing behind me and I looked at her and I thought, my God, those words are so true and what she must be feeling. And it can say a thousand words, but your smile is all I've heard. It tells of the lonely nights and, and of unanswered phone calls and of the hope and the dream that you have to have. Because you're still among the missing and I'm still missing you. And I swear it's the last thing that I do. And to be standing next to Colleen's family, you really felt like you went through all the pain and hurt that they've been going through. I mean, this has been 10 years. 10 years that this family has no idea what happened to their baby. This is why Colleen believes Morgan is coming home, because without that dream, without that hope, why wake up tomorrow? The only dream I've got. That was awesome, man. Just a beautiful reminder while we're still here, and we cannot wait to bring the family home. It really was a great thing for Ty to get us all together and to share this together. All I can say is, let's get busy, people! Let's finish the house! Now let's get back to work! It just kind of reminded us why we're here, what we're doing, and was a true inspiration and motivation to keep on going. Watch yourself. I got it. You got it? Yeah. Taryn's Playhouse is a great thing because it's a little house, all for her. We really wanted to keep Taryn's house the way it was, so what we're going to do is, through the back of it, we're going to build a little more. We're going to give her another 80 square feet on top of that. We'll put the old playhouse right out front, and then we're going to mask it maybe with some trees and some fence to make a secret door. So this is the new secret wing. So when Ty walks her out there, hopefully she'll just see her little playhouse, and then we'll have a secret panel. She'll push it and go to a whole new room. So we got our three walls up. Now this last wall, we don't have to worry about because it's actually the wall 
of our existing clubhouse. And here's the secret door. She can just push you open. Voila. I know she likes to have a lot of friends come over and they can camp out back there. And she started it. We're just going to finish it. Coming up. Smash it. Why are you, why are you trying to it. smash it? Smash it. Paul and Preston, they've gone to extra lengths to make sure that they keep the attitude of punk, you know, in the room. I, you, you uh, have to. You have to do it. You serious? Can I really destroy this? Both of these get smashed. Do you, you want me to smash it? Yes. You're positive you need these broken it's, parts. It's all you. That's next on his new makeover home edition. Really nice. I was just cooling the toes a little bit. Okay, well, just FYI, you know, they'll be here tomorrow. He's just jealous because he didn't cool his toes. Yeah! Okay, I can't really tell you exactly what this is, but I can tell you this. It looks great on. I'm so into this project, I've literally put myself into it. The problem is, I've gotten stuck. This is fantastic. Not only am I stuck in my secret project room, but I'm actually stuck in my secret project. Hey, Paul. Uh, well, I kind of got myself stuck. Anybody? Yeah, yeah, we here. Can try. No, you know what? I'd rather not. Paul, Paul, seriously, buddy. Paul. We're getting the final look here on this uh, flower box. It's all been wired, and right now they're going to lift it into place, and uh, we're going to see how this all works. I worked on Taryn's room this week. Taryn loves daffodils, she loves flowers, she loves color, and she loves hanging out with her friends. Even this, probably a little low. I think I wanted the lowest one at six foot. My favorite part about Taryn's room was the lampshades made out of flowers. It looks like a really cool, kind of upside down planter box. Come my way just a little bit. Um, yeah, you're, yep, perfect. I remember when I was 11 years old and how I loved having my girlfriends over and having slumber parties and these little stuffed animals. So the fact that Taryn loves this and wants this, I mean, she's a girl after my own heart. Hey ladies, would you mind helping me out of this? Are you stuck in there? Yeah, I am. Uh, wait. Uh, uh, uh. Woo! Thank you so much. You're welcome, welcome so much. Guitars here. Guitars. Guitars amp. Logan had this one sculpture collage, which is very punk. It's a smash guitar over classical music. We're going to carry that to an extreme degree and have a bunch of guitars exploding out of his walls. Smash it. Why are you, you telling me to smash it? Smash it. Paul and Preston, they've gone to extra lengths to make sure that they keep the attitude of punk, you know, in the room. Oh, I broken need more pieces. broken guitars coming out of the hole. I'm like... Matter of fact, you can take the SG and smash the... I... You, you uh, have to. You have to do it. Are you serious? Can I really destroy this? Both of these get smashed. Do you want me to smash them? Seriously? Yeah. It was best for the team leader to take full responsibility for destroying any musical instruments. You can use this as a weapon. Pete Townsend smashing guitars and big windmills. You're this me time right now, it's okay. I can do this. Yeah. Keith Richards leaning all the way back. To be honest with you, I've always wanted to do this, but I no one have. Jimi Hendrix smashing, burning. You're positive you need these broken hearts. It's all you. Rock and roll, so, you know. Ugh. Feels so good. One more. One more, baby. Oh. Good. Oh, yeah. Good. 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 Well, those were just uh, junk, right? They are now. This is what 13-year-olders like. They like explosions. Big explosions. This thing means something to the family. It's not just a chunk of concrete. We extracted it from the driveway and we're gonna give it the due respect and make a bench out of it. We wanna make cement blocks to hold up our bench. When this cures, what you're gonna get is that butterfly impression inside the concrete. About six years ago, Colleen had the family go out and lay their hands in the concrete. You can see Taryn, Logan, Colleen, and they put Morgan's name here because she's still part of the family. So we're gonna put it somewhere on the backyard, a peaceful place to just reminisce about a girl that may actually come home. He's a 
letters to say hope. And uh, I think that's the word that most uh, describes Colleen's strength. Colleen has an unbelievable faith and great belief and hope that her daughter will return. And that is contagious. And to have the faith that she has 10 years later, you know, we have to honor that. She is just a shining example of somebody who will not give up. She's found strength, even through all this tragedy, strength to lend to other families in the same situation. Constance put together this great wall in Colleen's office. It was all of these beautiful little faces of children that have been found over the years. And Colleen has helped bring home over 100 children. It's amazing because one person can really, really make a difference. This week had a lot of people who cared. We were fortunate enough to work with the Northwest Arkansas Home Builders Association. They worked relentlessly every day and every night to get this house built. First of all, let's all walk through and look what we've done. When they were just about done, they went into each room and it took a minute just to kind of soak in what they've accomplished. Lord, we just ask you now to let Morgan come home safely. Amen. It was just a very, very emotional moment for these guys who did something above and beyond the Call of Duty. I got a great team. I wouldn't trade it for the world. Dan, you guys have been absolutely awesome. Absolutely awesome. Ty, it's an honor to give you the keys for this new house. Yeah! A big hand for these guys right here, huh? You see this beautiful finished home that's miraculously gone up in front of your eyes in seven days. It makes you think that anything is possible. All right, people, let's load in some furniture! Things were starting to wind down. It was getting late, and Daniel showed up with the porch light. What do you think, Polly Mike? Let's do it. Oh, yeah. What do you think? I love it. It's awesome. Okay, it's pretty fire. cool to know that that porch light will always be there. It means so much to Colleen, and um, it'll never go off. Fire it up, Daniel. Let's see how it looks. Cool. Wow. Oh, my gosh. It's so pretty. It's beautiful. Oh, on the porch light, engraved out of copper, it says, love always hopes. And uh, it's the perfect light to bring Morgan home. Coming up on Extreme Makeover Home Edition. Are you ready to see it? Yeah? All right, well, you know what we have to say, right? <laughs> Bus driver, move and fall! That's next. Oh, my gosh. If you or someone you know deserves a home makeover, go to abc.com, keyword home makeover, to apply to be on the show. safely in, but it's also a house that you can continue to do the work you do every day with the Morgan Nick Foundation, finding missing kids, and, and hopefully one day, finding Morgan. That's right. That's right. Are you ready to see it? Yeah? All right, well, you know what we have to say, right? Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Bus driver! Move that 
suddenly they moved the bus and my heart was just pounding and it's just like getting bigger and bigger and up in my throat and there it was. You know, what do you say? I mean, this great big gift of love. <laughs> the design team, Paul, Preston, Connie, Michael, and Paige. I said to him, okay, well, you guys like the outside of the house. Let's go check out the inside. I've never seen Cody walk so fast. She's just beelining it to the front door. All of a sudden, she sees the porch light. Oh, oh. <laughs> Love always hopes. That lantern. <sighs> that we can leave turned on at night to light the way home. Morgan and for other children that are missing as a, as a visual reminder to people that we can't give up. Thank you. Thank you. There's a traditional thing people do when they've lost a child. They leave their front porch light on as a beacon leading the way home. A porch light has become a symbol of her hope. It's a symbol. It's a beacon. It's the most beautiful gift that we could have put in this house. Just ahead. Crank it up, Logan! See how loud that is? But that's because you're inside the room, right? I how promise could you. you do this to me? That's next on Extreme Makeover Home Edition. Do me a favor. Walk through your new front door and check out your new home. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. I knew our house would probably be big, but it's like huge. Oh, look at the kitchen. Oh my goodness, look at the kitchen. This kitchen is not only huge, but it has brand new appliances. Kenmore from Sears. Pretty sweet, huh? This is amazing. All new windows, all new window it's treatments, beautiful. all new the countertops. The wood is just beautiful. And of course, you got a new dining room as well. And this is just the first floor. Wow. It was huge. It was big. It was a great day for the Nick family. So excited. That's all I wanted to hear. <laughs> oh, oh, my gosh. This is a laundry room. Oh, my God. This is so cool. Being a single mom and running a nonprofit organization is very taxing on whatever time she has available. It's really important to her to be with her family. So maybe having this home office is a way to let that happen. Connie did some pretty amazing things in here. Go check it out. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, Lee. Oh my goodness. For me, it's just about doing the right thing. It's just about just about being a mom. People say it's inspiring and done great things, but it's about believing and hoping and dreaming for a day when things are better. Oh my goodness. If you're passionate, if you're committed, it really only takes one person to truly make change, to truly make a difference. But what happens when one person decides to step forward and other people start to step up with you and, and before you know it, one voice becomes a hundred voices and it becomes a thousand voices. And you see real change happening in your world and in my world um, that I live in, the world of missing children, is that when a thousand voices become two thousand voices and become a million voices, children come home. I mean, children get to come back home. All I can say is you're an amazing woman. We made a choice to get involved. 
We made a choice to fight back and not sit at home and just wait for Morgan. So the best part about this place is that there's a whole lot more. Go check out the rest of your house, because there's a lot of it. <gasps> oh. oh my goodness, Taryn, yeah. look at this room! <laughs> it was just this giant slice of sunshine. Since Taryn loved daffodils, I wanted to just fill her room with daffodils. I mean, daffodils everywhere. Oh my gosh. Paige, it seems like she's known me forever. Green carpet for grass, lights all over the place. It was so cool to have lights everywhere. <laughs> the lights, this is I perfect. This is like the perfect room. She gave me a pink bathroom. <gasps> A big pink bathroom. Oh my god, this is beautiful! She gave me three beds, two canopy beds, one like couch bed. So there's like totally enough room for my friends in there. This is so cool. So do you like this kind of a thing? It's cool. Then you're gonna love your room. I was very excited that Paul did my room. I think he just does really cool rooms. Oh! I just walked away. Oh the second I walked in my room. Oh my god. Look at the guitars, Mom. Oh, oh. Look at the snare drum. Oh. oh, this is so awesome. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> the bed, it sets on these enormous speakers. Look at the headboard. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. And the headboard is made out of speakers. Oh. <laughs> my concern was that they all worked. Yeah. You feeling that? I think my favorite part of Logan's room is something you can't see. Wow! You can't really tell that it's soundproof, but it's inside the walls. You don't have to worry because we've soundproofed the walls. See how loud that is? But that's because you're inside the room, right? But I promise you, outside, outside this room, you won't be able to hear this. Crank it up, Logan! Oh man, it was so awesome. It's gonna be a long night! And then I took Mom, I walked down the hall, and took her over to the other room. I don't hear it anymore, do you? And I said, see, you can't hear anything. I know how to find you. <laughs> well, he's got an 11 right now. If he takes it down to 6, you know, you're fine. We'll see. <laughs> Just ahead, check this out. Ty, you're gonna break something. Oh, that's gonna hurt. That's next on Extreme Makeover, Home Edition. She's just always helping other kids. No parent should ever not know where their child is. Good morning, Nick family! <laughs> I choose every day to have hope. You can have a place for Margaret to come home to. community come out and to be able to do fingerprints and children's photographs. This is what hope looks like right here. Maybe by having a whole lot of this, you can spend more time with your kids. My secret project this week has been something I'm definitely very passionate about because I'm doing it for a woman who is very passionate about making a difference with missing children. You lost your daughter 10 years ago. I know you, you love her very much. What you do to help other people has been um, amazing. You've brought so many missing kids back home to their families. You've made a difference in people's lives. Do me a favor. Go check out your new bedroom. It's just so calm, serene, and beautiful. Oh my gosh. It's just beautiful. And my bathroom. Oh my goodness. This is beautiful. I could just sit 
in there in that hot water, just washing away the stress, just, just taking it away every day. And I really appreciate that. It's so beautiful and peaceful. I wanted to kind of give you a happy place. It's just very peaceful. Thank you so much. Absolutely. One bedroom left, a room for Morgan. I know you've never given up hope that one day she'd come home. Do me a favor, go check out Morgan's room. And this room is about hope uh, and the future and believing in things that we can't see right now. She's a woman like no other woman I've ever met because she's got a lot of love and she never gives up hope. To some people, it may seem like a miracle if she came back after this long, but we have to hope for that day, and I will. I've learned so much about what real strength is because real strength is found in love. Colleen feels this with her heart and her soul that Morgan is out there somewhere and that she is coming home. I think she'll buy again. Yeah. Everyone's very positive that someone will hear this story that we're telling and, and contact this family. I mean, who knows? One day, Morgan Nick could walk through the front door. And for us to judge otherwise, I don't think it's right. It's a beautiful room. Well, there's just a few last things to see. One of them is your backyard. Ty was like, you guys ready to see your backyard? We're like, yeah. <gasps> when Logan got to see the skateboard ramp, it was like one of those things where you have that, and it just, it just zooms right in on the skateboard ramp. So this awesome, awesome skate park. I couldn't get my eyes off that, so I didn't really see anything else. I'm moving. <laughs> The look on Logan's face was priceless. If I could give you a tour to describe my skate park, it would be super awesome. Oh, yes! Ty is crazy. Me and Logan are going tandem trying to blast arrows out of the pipe. Ty, you're going to break something. I think Ty did actually pretty good. He's old school, but he's still pretty good. Logan, why don't you hang out? You guys follow me. I want to show you something else in the backyard. Preston and Paula have really done an amazing job. Preston came up with this. I think it's so cool. They cut that out of our sidewalk, and they put it in the backyard and made this beautiful stone bench out of it. <gasps> oh, cool. They had built an extra addition to my clubhouse. What I like to call extreme makeover clubhouse edition. Oh. How about a new addition? Oh, this oh, is yes. cool. It had flowers everywhere, and it had a TV and electricity. I have lights in there. Oh my gosh, it was so beautiful. Well, follow me, because there's some people that like to say hi to you guys. I will never forget the moment that we saw the contractors. Thank you. <laughs> they gave 200% to give us that house, to give us that gift, and to know that they would do it all over again. They're amazing people. And I'm blessed to be Logan and Taryn's mom. I'm lucky be Morgan's mom. We have never given up hope that Morgan would come home and every day I fight for her. Someday I plan to look her in the eye and tell her that I never gave up, that I've always loved her, that it's okay if she forgot about us, but we've never forgotten about her. And so every day I get up and fight for Morgan as hard as I can with as much passion as I have doing everything that I know how to do in my power and leaving the rest of it in God's hands. I know that someday I will look Morgan in the eye and I will say, I always knew that you were coming home. If you have any information about the children you've just seen, please contact the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, 1-800-THE-LOST.
To find out more about the products used in tonight's show, go to abc.com, keyword home makeover. And that one's yep. just like flat on top. And so why would you let me ride the one that I'm going to get hurt on? Because you took that one. Yeah. No. Look at that. He looks at... What is that? Your, your walker? You look <laughs> pathetic. <laughs> Prepare yourself, America, because it's happening right now. Small towns across the country are being infiltrated by something they've never seen before. The first ever comedy, variety, reality, kind of game-based, anything-goes sort of show. That impresses people, right? Every Sunday, 200 residents of one small town become stars by doing the most outrageous things. And you never know what will happen. That's your house, isn't it? It's gone. Small Town America, get ready.